Well, you've got there, mate. That's whacking that rod over. That's got to be something decent, mate. <laughs> yes, Joe. Come on. Fish on. Fish, fish on. on. Good fish. Come on, mate. Joe's just come off. Have a big fish on it. Well then, where do you start with today's trip? Um, it's half ten on um, Boxing Day morning. Mike, my good pal, is picking me and my mate Joe up from my house at three o'clock. And we're going to take the one and a half mile walk to the end of Ollyhead Breakwater. So it's a mile and a half there and a mile and a half back. So three mile with the stuff. But this is going to be a fun trip, people. So stay with me on this one. We're going to be fishing till about one, two, three o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm going to take a bed case. I need to have a chill there because I was up at five this morning getting bits done. Editing yesterday's video and getting the buffet ready. Because Joe, my pal, who you'll see in this video, he's a good character. He has some proper banter. He does a lot of swearing, so you're going to probably hear bleep, bleep, bleep through a lot of this video. So if there is young ears on here, I will be bleeping it out. Do not worry. Um, we're having a buffet at mine, Joe's family, my family, and uh, whatever, from 12 till 3. Mike's picking us up at 3. Mike's the driver. This is the best bit. So me and Joe are probably going to be on the pop from 12 till 3. <laughs> and me and Joe do give Mike a bit of banter, and Mike gives us a bit of banter back, so... I just don't know how it's going to go. Mike's the designated driver today, you see. And I just have no idea how it's going to go. I've defrosted that much bait. Defrosted two big bags of peeler crabs. Loads of squid. Loads of mackerel for the congas. Uh, I've got some little scratching rigs for the wrasse and the mini species. Um, there's definitely congas there. I've had a few from there. Um, there's cod being caught at the end. Um, Ollie had bright water can throw up anything. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be... And the, even if there's not a single bite, I can guarantee the banter and the laughs, because me and Joe are probably going to be half cut for the first half of it. <laughs> it's just going to be pure banter, and it's a long trip. And you might see me snoring at one o'clock in the morning on Ollie Ed Breakwater. Um, but the, we've got that much fishing time on our hands, and there's three of us fishing with two rods each. We've got six rods out all afternoon, all night till early hours, in a spot that's producing a lot of fish and what holds a lot of species. So, uh, yeah. It's half ten now, I'm going to go and help the wife finish the buffet off. I'll have a couple hours with Joe from 12 till 3 at mine, and I'll see you when uh, Mike picks us up around 3 o'clock, and that's where we'll be on our way. This is going to be a good day, people. Stay with us, yeah? And here we go. <laughs> we loaded. It's a bit cold today. We loaded. Right. Go and... Do a couple of little quick things in the house and we're going to be on the way, aren't we? Holly Eddie, we come. Let's go. You are right, Joe? <laughs> it's going to be a good one. Right, my little man. We'll see you in a bit, okay? Right, I've just got to do a few things in the house. Where's my hound? You're not coming today, girl. We're going to catch any fish today. The scratch card crew. Did you win, Joe? <laughs> I told you there'll be a lot of bleeping in this video, so you just uh, did like beep. That's the way he is. <laughs> I'm going to have bleep count from this video to the end, see how many he gets up to. Well, I won a tenner, so that's a kebab for me. See how Mike goes. Live too live long. scratching on the go here. <laughs> Give me a minute. All right, we're off to Ollie Ed Brightwater. It's about an hour and ten minutes there. Um, it's about a 1.6 mile walk from the car to the end, and then the same back. But we've got the cart barrel, and we've got Joe in the back to push it, so it's done above, and me and Mike ain't got to do nothing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we know that's not going to happen. <laughs> I've already told you I'm sitting on the barrel. He's sitting on the barrel. Right, me, me and Joe have been having a few this afternoon. Uh, we just picked some more up. Any wins on there, mate? <laughs> that's a loss. Right. Uh, we got a journey. I might show you over the Menai Bridge, a bit of scenic stuff and all that palaver. Um, yeah, I want a tenner. That's my kebab sorted. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Adios. Sharon's care and run that. <laughs> I'll give you a, I'll give you a bit of kebab, mate. Oh, we'll let the first thing with his garlic meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a crazy one, lads. And we're off. We've fueled up. We've got just under half a tank. We're off. Actually started. Thank God for that. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's go, boys. Boys on tour. I've brought my bed with me because I might need to snooze. We could be there till 2, 3, 4 in the morning. It's only, what, 3 in the afternoon now. Oh, it's going to be a long one. See you when we get there, or at least I'll show you on the way. <laughs> hey, John. Do you remember that time we were on the Menai and we took Joe in the back here, right? <laughs> this is a, this is a memory. This is a good one. Stay with us forever. And also, I just wish it had been filmed. 
we were fishing out the back of ABC Angling Centre. View Maris, yeah? In View Maris. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Joe hadn't been out in a while, but Joe decided to have a skinful. And I don't know what how many he had, but he had a few and he was gone. So anyway, he come towards the end of the session and Joe said, I'm going to... I'm going to walk back to the car, I'll be alright. I said, it's alright Joe, just don't walk that way because there's it's quite a lot of snag and rocks. rocky. I said, just walk around. Ah, it's alright, it's alright. <laughs> Steaming. Next minute, I'm watching him with my head torch, just we... making sure he's alright. Then all of a sudden I just see... Bang. Bang. Well, we could see desk. his head torch, couldn't we? And his so, head torch so I, just went off. <laughs> so I shout, Joe, you alright, Joe? Didn't hear a thing. Then all of a sudden, his head pops up. I'm all right, I'm bleeding. So I said to I said to Johnny, I said, I said, John, Joe's bleeding over here. He's had a fall. What, what did you think that? I, I, I thought he, he was messing around. He smashed his face in. Smashed his Stephen face. tripped over on the beach. He thought he was messing around. I said, no, no. So I <laughs> ran to him. And as I got to him, all his nose was all gone and everything. Oh, it was just brilliant. Just hey, brilliant. I thought this was the walk. That was just, that is a moment. I had a wish. I had got a camera. Oh, you and definitely it'll yeah. stay with us forever but like we were saying before about safety yeah. if he wants to have a drink he can have a drink as long as there's one sober one there yeah, to to keep, which is him today Mike, Mike's the parent today me and Joe are the kids just <laughs> to make sure that everybody is safe yeah, and it is good for safety first but it? also at the same time going back to then I was in a bad place in the mental health yeah, was, that's like, I just never give a flight we brought him out to help him because he was having a tough time ended up getting absolutely <laughs> fell over and smashed his face in. <laughs> Good night, love. Good night, Brilliant. Right, see you in a bit. So now we're crossing the mighty Britannia Bridge to get onto the Isle of Anglesey. That is the Menai Straits. We've had some brilliant sessions there. I've had to mute this clip because we was blasting meatloaf out and I didn't want to get done for copyright, but we had a party on the way there. Car, karaoke, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> right, what happened there, people? I've got out to answer the call of nature and I've got some Stellas in my foot well in a bag and as I've got out my foot's got tangled in the bag I've tripped out the car and there's been four cans of Stella rolling around the label all spraying up in the air um, Brilliant. <laughs> it's a good job there's one so warm around here well, that's what I mean the driver's good and the driver's <laughs> looking after us so we ain't doing, we ain't doing nothing dodgy people you know what I mean Mike's here's on, mine look, your mic's on the energy drinks look here's mine and uh, we're fishing at the end, we're safe where we fish, we know what we're doing at that, but uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, we've had a right blast on the way up here, we've had Meatloaf on, singing karaoke. What was it, um, what was the song we were singing? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Mike Stodgy Electrics in his Range Rover. <laughs> but if we could have played the phone on the way up, we've had Meatloaf blasting, we've had the old fishing songs blasting, but due to copyright, we can't show you what was going on, but... Um, We've had all the old meatloaf, 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 what? Meatloaf! <laughs> We've had all the meatloaf. It is meatloaf, isn't it? Meatloaf going. Anyway, look at this for a view now. Right into the edge of the land. I'm sorry if this is a long video again, people. You know, I'll blibbity blibbity blabber on. <laughs> it's a nice bit of, it's had a flood. Yes, yeah, we'll go fishing there, we should get some flat fishing there, won't we? <laughs> get a few plates in there. Get, biv get bivvied up on there, mate, get the alarms Spot out. Spot on. A couple of Ronnie Riggs out there. No diffies round here, Mosh. Anglesey uh, Rice Farm, that is. That's what, that's what it is. Bloody hell, that ain't good, is it? Ah, oh, look at the weather now, look at it. Oh, it's flooded like hell, mate. I must have had some serious rain over here. Well, yeah, here we go. Um, it's just one of them days today, all about the banter, but hopefully. Um, we're fishing where, on a serious note, we're fishing where there's a lot of decent fish being caught. We've got to walk 1.6 mile to get to the end. And the worst thing about it, we've got to walk 1.6 mile back about 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning with the gear. And it's going to be a long walk if we blank. <laughs> it's going to be a long walk for a whiting, isn't it? <laughs> right, well, hey, phone's on. I'm waiting, I'm going home. <laughs> You've still got to walk back to the car to get home, mate. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer, I'd like to point out that drinking alcohol and fishing can be extremely dangerous. We had Mike with us here, who was the adult that was in charge of me and Joe. Now he was fishing at the end of the break water, which has about a four, four and a half foot concrete wall all the way around. To be honest, if I wanted to climb over that wall, I'd struggle to get on it. So there is no way we could have slipped, fell in or anything. The only hazard to us was the steps that it was going up and down, which, in all fairness, the steps in pubs and at home, which you could fall down if you've had a few. But I'd just like to point that out, because a lot of people are going to say, you shouldn't be going there, you shouldn't be doing this. It was totally safe where we was. Now, if we was fishing on an estuary, or if we was fishing an arbor wall with no railings, 
or if we was fishing a beach where the tide could creep behind us and we might not be aware that we was getting cut off or anything, this wouldn't happen. So I'd just like to point out where we was walking to was just a flat concrete walk all the way. There was no rocks, there was nowhere we could fall, nowhere to slip on seaweed. And when we got to the end, there was nowhere we could fall in. Like I say, if I wanted to jump over that wall, it would... Well, I don't even think I'd get up if I wanted to, so it would be impossible to fall over. So I just thought I'd clear that off. But either way, I wouldn't recommend drinking alcohol and fishing unless you're in a totally safe environment with an adult in charge who hasn't been drinking to look after you and who's willing to lean over and drop net the fish and all that for you. So just wanted to get that covered up, people, okay? This is like that long road up over the fields and off to the Wizard of Oz, isn't it? <laughs> you know, are we gonna, are we gonna see the um, wizard at the end to see if he can get us a card? Mike's the lion. <laughs> He's the tin man. What am I then? Scarecrow. <laughs> We're here, Joe, in the back. Hey, right, mate. All right, mate. Let's go. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Right then, we're here. We're here. Here, here, here they are. They are here. here. The wind is horrendous. That's why I'm hiding around this corner to show you this bit of footage. Um, yeah, we was pulling in the car park. A couple of gentlemen just turned around and was coming in. Please excuse the wind, people. I'm going to try and voice over and get this to you as clear as possible. It was a nightmare. But anyway, we was pulling up at the car park. A couple of gentlemen come in. They saw me and Mike come past in Mike's car. And they turned around and followed us to come and say hello. Because they recognised us from YouTube, which was very nice. And you offered us some bait too, which is very kind of you, gents. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm saying here because I'd had a few, so I'm probably just blabbing on saying that we've got to walk this far and all that rubbish. But anyway, here we go. Right, excuse this wind now. We'll go and see what the boys are doing. The wind is going to be horrendous, but we'll get through this windy session at some point. It's pretty nippy as well. Here we go. As if we're going on the end of there in this wind, boys. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he looks like he's just come from a job. <laughs> Right, we've got everything we need, we've got loads of bass, so we're going to load that up now. Joe's kindly volunteered to push it to the end for us. No, I have not push, so, uh, push it the fish food. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. I've drove us all the way here between you two to argue about that barrow. Yeah, Should we flip a coin on it? Should we flip a coin who pushes it? You both got Stella in you, you're both alright. Oh, well done. Now, see, you can't, can't we're not safe to drive. Oh, yeah, no, we're yeah, safe yeah, to drive. Well, 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 you've got to push it now, mate, we'll lose the gear. Well, I've shot myself. We can't drive that thing, mate. We've got loads of stuff to load up on it as well. <laughs> Look at the wind here all right. Look how everything's banded, isn't it? Hollyhead Breakwater opened in 1873. It's 19 metres high and 1.7 miles long. It's the longest breakwater in the UK. Now, we walked all the way to the end of it, meaning our trip from the car to the end of the breakwater and back was 3.4 miles long. It was a big walk, and we fished right off the very end on that platform. What's happened there, Joe? What's happened here, Joe? It's just got... What's happening here, mate? The car's here, and he's lost his car. Let's go! He took Joe, he nearly had Joe around the side of the head with that then. Right, come on. What bags have we got? We've got JD, Lidl, and one stop. Na na na! Na na na! Na 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 na! Oh no! Joe, no vehicles! Joe, stop! No vehicles! Alright, up! up! You know, I said it was like a scene from The Wizard of Oz. Well, this wind is horrendous now, and when we're on the end, it's going to be worse. It's like Dorothy in the storm, you're going to see the house go up in the air in a minute. <laughs> right, come on boys, let's do it. On, mate. Windy up here, mate. <laughs> there was one thing that was bothering me coming to the end. You're out in the elements, the wind, the cold, we're going to have to deal with the rain. We're going to struggle to deal with, but what can you do, people? That rain over there in front of that. Bloody hell. 
Once we got near the end of the breakwater, we soon realised the wind on the upper platform at the end was horrendous. The waves was crashing off the side and the sea spray was just soaking everything. So we decided to start our mission on the lower platform where the yellow line is now and cast our rods out in the angle of those yellow sticks. And, uh, well, just see how it went, basically. Play it by ear. And if the weather gets too bad, we've got this here. Hello, hello. Hello. We've got an indoor bit here, boys, if the weather gets too bad. Sorry, Noodle yeah. your rods to the railing so they don't come off. Yeah. Oh, that's a big oh, turd. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, I'm going to noodle. I hope there's one up here because I'm going to noodle my rods to the... Oh, no. oh we got, we've got our own bivvies each, look. Is this mine? Oh, my. yes, I've got mine here, look. I'm going to noodle up. I hope there's one at the end for me. Hello. Caution, ship approaching. So this is us, isn't it? I think I'll go bad here. Yeah, man, put Joseph in the middle, because he's only on one rod. We've got steps ahead as well, look. We've got steps, should we fall? Well, I'm going to go on this corner. I'm going to aim mine out there, because the steps, isn't it? I'm going to go out that way, mate. Yeah. I'll move up, mate, yeah? Mate, I'll move right up here, it's fine by me. Yeah, if I get anything decent. Yeah, it looks nice and deep. And that's nice for bit bashing. Well, I'm looking forward to this. Right, so we've settled three out. Quickly show you. So I'm sorry how long this video is going on, people, but it just is what it is. We've fished on gear because we've got the railing. I'm probably going to put one by that deep corner. Maybe a conga rod there, to be fair, in case I come round and one out. It's low water now, so it's going to fill up. But what we're going to do. It's not too bad, is it, really? No, it's not, mate, especially. <laughs> I'm going to go and have a look up here. Now I'm risking getting soaked by a big wave coming up here. But if I'm walking to the end of the breakwater, I'm going to show you the end of the breakwater and I'm going to risk getting <laughs> soaked. But this people is where the cod are coming from. You can see why it's just proper deep. You know what? I might come and have an hour up here later on my water, just with one rod. This is Hollyhead breakwater, people. Hollyhead breakwater. This is carnage, this is what's going on out here. Look at some of this stuff going on. What? <laughs> Alright, I'm predicting I'm having a big conga donga from down there. I'm going to put a big conga rod down there. It's pretty rough out here, but we got it, haven't we, lads? We got this. We got it, we got it, we got it. We got it. about eight hours fished in front of us now. It's already a bit cold and a bit damp. <laughs> and then an hour of walk back to the car, an hour and 20 minutes walk back home. I ain't even got the rods in yet, and I'm just getting sorted. It's about an, I'll say about an hour, an hour and a half off low now. So I'll start fishing from low and fish it all the way up and see how we go. But there's no rush, it's just getting set up, it's just getting sorted. Um, we got everything we need, really. There's a lot of big waves crashing through though, it's pretty rough. But yeah, we're right at the end of the breakwater. Caution, cod approaching. Things we do to get good footage. <laughs> the wind's bad, but we got it. I got my tripod sellotape to the wheelbarrow. Well, that there, I got me light. The rod's then in here, I'm gonna put a conga rig on the left. It's just dawned on me that we're 18 and a half minutes into this video, a fishing video, and we haven't wet a line in the water yet. <laughs> That's just how it is on this channel, people. It's all banter and it's all fun with a little bit of fishing mixed in. And you know what? I'm never gonna change the banter we have. But if you're still entertained at this point in the video, on a fishing video, 18 and a half minutes in, and we haven't put a line in the water, then we're doing something right, yeah? And if you do like it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also give the video a thumbs up, because it really, really does help it generate around YouTube. And one thing I can promise you is the last half of the video is packed with fish being caught, bites, and nothing but fishing. My first rod's about to go in. Simple running rig on a running lead macro lead on a big hook, 150 pound line hook length. Uh, it's been a bit of a nightmare to be fair. Mike's had one cast, he snapped off on the cast. He's literally just gone to chuck it out, he's gone snap. Joe's had one cast and he's got snagged. So uh, it's not the best to start. I'm gonna put this conga rig down up against this corner, just down there. 
and then I'm going to send a big squid and crab bite out into the middle. Right then, the next bite's going out. It's a lung panel. Or a poorly shall I say, because the panel's two rigs in it, or two ox. Squid and lug. And that one is going to be sent as far as possible. Imagine pulling all that effort in, all that walking, tying all them rigs, getting all that bait ready, all the anticipation and everything to cast both rods in and have them both instantly snagged. Wouldn't that just be a disaster? Well, both rods are out the water for the wrong reasons. I've had a cast on each one. Snag, snap off. Same with this one. Snag, snapped off. Two casts, two snags. Spent ages setting up, putting baits on to cast in to be instantly snagged. Right then, uh, we're going to have a little bit of a regroup and have a think for 10 to 15 minutes now. I'll get back to you. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, mate. Yeah. So what's happening here? Well, I've had two casts have been snagged twice. So we've come up to the top end of the breakwater. Once again, the wind took over and you couldn't hear anything at all on my phone. So uh, basically, me and Mike have just come up to the top end now on the end of the breakwater on the eye platform. We've just brought a rod each and enough bait for another cast each. And we're just going to give it half hour just to see what it's like up here. Um, we're just going to throw it, well, fling it in, have half hour here, and then assess the situation again. But this is hard going. I've had two casts, two snap offs, and it's, well, the weather's horrendous, but we ain't giving it to you. We've got another six, seven hours of fishing, and it's, the wind is ruthless, but we're going for it, yeah? Right, let's get the rods in, we'll bring you back if anything happens. We're at the top end now, Mike's having to hold these rods because, of the, well, the wind and the flow's that bad. Oh, we do pick our times, people. We do pick our times, but we're trying, and we're going to try for the next how many hours? <laughs> this is what it's all about. My rods in one stay still. Look at that. Boys. Straight into a snag. I just moved that a little bit then and I look straight in. Look. Well, the last three casts I've seen. Oh, it's out. That's a, that's a start. You know you're doing. Oh! Well done. Mike, I'm on a bite. I don't know, actually. I swear I had a knock then. Yeah, that's a bite. I'll bring you back. Fish on. Get in then. Uh, you probably can't hear much of what I'm saying here, but basically, to cut it short, I was saying to Mike, this is heavier than a whiting, mate. This is heavier than a whiting. And I just didn't know what I was going to bring over the wall. Um, but I did know it was heavier than a whiting, and I was getting excited. Doggy doggy. Oh, no. It's a fish though. I honestly, my heart was in my mouth for you then, mate. Right. Doggy doggy. I thought, <laughs> I thought that was the card. I had the bite. I, uh, I'm just turning this torch off. I had the bite. It felt heavy. I know I'm in the spot where the cod are being caught. And you know what? I'm a little bit cutting it's not the cod, but I ain't gonna lie. That's the best fish I've caught in months. <laughs> yeah, no. That's heavy. Come on. Fish on. Fish, fish on. on. Good fish. Come on, mate. Good fish, good solid dog as well. Come on. Come on, mate. Yes, mate. Yeah. Oh, I just seen it slacken. Oh, no. I just seen the rod thing up. Oh, no. I seen it bend and then it just went pink. So the others have gone now and I've gone back down to uh, by where we started on the lower bit. Because the wind's that bad, it's really hard to differentiate a bite up here. It's like really, really hard to work out what's going on. I'm sat here, well, stood here, with that on my finger, just waiting for the tug. So I really want to put the effort in, people. I really, really want to put the effort in. Um, like, so I'm self-filming now on my phone in my hand. I just feel as if... Like if I, if I just keep giving 100%, keep going, if I spend the next couple hours up here on my own, keep putting bites out, you know what I mean? I have got to go back down in a minute and um, 
check some stuff. I'd like a bite then. But as I say, I've got my hand there, and I'm just waiting because I get that touch, you know what I mean? The effort I'm putting in is out of this world. <laughs> even if I so say that, even if I say so myself, the effort is um, unrivaled, but I'm happy about it. It's about seven o'clock now, I'm guessing. High tide's at one, might be eight o'clock, seven o'clock. That's a bite, that's a bite. I can feel that on my finger, that's a bite. Right, I'm gonna hit this beak, we'll be back in a minute. Right, Joe's just come off. Have a big fish on here. I don't even think I'm going to lift this up. I could do it with Mike with the net. Ah. Hey! Right. Keep finger, drop that up, mate. Drop that. Oh, it's just gone. Don't bother. It's just no. on the hook. No! No, that was massive. No! No, he's, he's just pulled the hook, mate. Don't buddy. No. That was massive. I couldn't. I couldn't hold that fish. Right, I'm going to. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> Mike's back down the bottom now. Joe's back up there after seeing our bites. <laughs> So what I'm doing, I'm watching the gear down here and I'm going to have a little chum down here because it's quite turbulent. Mike's sitting on the nest down here. I'm sitting on the nest. So I'll be fishing on my own but I'll be recording for that to bite. Right, I'm coming down here now. I'm going to make a few baits up and I'm going to go back up there because I've just lost, I don't know what it was, okay? I'm fishing a squid and crab wrap. The rod's gone, bounce, bounce. I think you seen me just before I cut it off. The camera I was having a bite, I've hit it. And I've just pulled a dogfish in anyway, just before then. And um, I pulled the dogfish in, said it felt heavy, lifted it straight up the wall. This fish, I was like, whoa, whoa. So yeah, it was clearly bigger than the dogfish. I don't know, you make your own mind up. Didn't, didn't see it, didn't see it, but I definitely felt it. And then it's all of a sudden it's gone ping and slapped. Um, this session's heating up, people. Like, it's heating up, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Um, we're, still a, we're, we're still quite a way off eye. Was you in a snack then, Mike? Yeah, I'm around the side of the wall. It's like so down yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's the, it's, this will be better on, eh? It's not even that. It's the wing. It's cast straight out there. But it's the the tight to the line. And when you tighten the line up, you pull it round, yeah? No snags round here, Mike? Right then, everything has changed now. We're all up the top end. It was just snag after snag at the bottom. Both my rods snapped off again, so I've got to set up again. Joe's having trouble here with his head torch working. So we're at the top end now, as you can see by the tower there. So we're just getting rigged up and ready to rock and roll up here. Left rod is going to be a little short flapper. The top right is going to be a bigger rock with a bigger bit of worm. And the bottom one is going to be a little rock with a little bit of worm. That's going to go on the left side of the pod. The right side, I'm going to put a big pedal on in a minute. We're going to fish big baits. Oh, just tripped over my wheelbarrow. Ah! This fishing is so hard though. I seem to spend more time cracking off and putting rigs on than I do fishing. Keep your eyes firmly on that rod tip. Look at him. Sorry the camera's bouncing, the wind is atrocious, but that's a cracking whiting. Second species. What's next? Gonna uh, chuck the big fish bait out now. That's gonna be the right rod. So if the right rod goes, it should be something a bit bigger. Now it was Mike's turn. Keep your eye down to the left of me. Mike's had a bite and boom, he's in. Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Said it feels decent. I don't know how many batteries are about to go. <laughs> I don't even charge all day. Coming up the wall. No, 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 no. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Hey! Snoop Doggy!
Oh, get in! Little doggy! <laughs> Do you know what? That Giddy was, up! Oh, just that doggy in. was probably the hardest fish I've ever caught in my life. The conditions <laughs> we're fishing in the moment is just... It's very nice. tough, as you can see. But... Now it's Joe's turn to get in on the action. What have you got, mate? Something on there. Hey, welcome to the dogging club, mate. Yeah, well, at least I caught a couple of them, mate. Nice dog, that. Nice, mate. Let's have a look at him, mate. Let's get the deck on from looking low. First priority done is we've all caught something. The wind's easing off a little bit now as well, and there's still a few hours to lie. It's about, I don't know, it's about eight, nine o'clock. I was at one in the morning, so it's about three hours, three or four hours. So have a look at him, mate. That wind is definitely easing off. Well, it isn't this corner anyway. Yeah, happy days, mate, yeah. See you later. And you go. Nice one, Joe. Little doggy for Joe, innit? The wind's calming down a bit, yeah. Nice one, Joe. Little doggy for Joe, innit? The wind's calming down a bit, yeah. That is a little doggy, yeah. My up, That's it, yeah. Come on, up the wide. That's a cod, that, mate. I That's a cod. <laughs> I'll just have a look at him and then I'll let you unlock him. That is a tiny doggy. <laughs> yes, mate, fair play, though, mate, yeah? Oh, yeah, I'm cool. Right, the wind's dying down a bit now. I've just pulled my little um, two hook flapper in. I'm going to put a conga rod on. Uh, well, a conga bait out. Because it's coming up to high water now and it's late, so I'm going to drop a big conga rod down by the wall. This felt different, quiet, heavy, but not much movement. I think we were both a bit intrigued to see what would come over the wall when I reeled this in. I was just saying to Mike, this feels really heavy, but it's not kicking. Look at that bad boy. That's a big crab. <laughs> right then. Two new baits, two new rigs. This one's a poly panel with crab, squid, and everything. And I'm going to drop on the congas. I've got rid of that little rig. I'm going to drop a conga bait off just down here over the wall. Got a fish on for Tasca. Fish on for Tasca. What you got there, mate? Oh no. Oh. Looks heavy. heavy. Cod, cod, cod. Come on, come on. So big and the swell so big out there. But it's a doggy. It's nice to be into a few fish though, yeah, mate. like, yeah, it makes a change, doesn't it? Let the carnage begin. Joe's into something good here. Mate, this looks decent, this one. Looks decent, mate. 
It's coming in slow as well. It's coming in. That's bending that rod, mate. This could be a drop netter, you know. Yeah. Very, very heavy, this. Oh, wow. Yeah, mate. Wow. I'll wash my rod, don't my win. Phone. I need to keep There's my on phone this. in your pocket. Joe, I'm coming, I'm coming down, mate. This looks good, right? Just be careful, lads, yeah? That's a good fish, that jaw thing. Just be careful, boys, yeah? What you got there, mate? That's whacking that rod over. That's got to be something decent, mate, yeah? Yet, mate. Oh, that's proper roof in oh, that. It's an eel, yeah. I'm going to hold your leg, mate, just in case, yeah. Uh, we'll back a bit, back, back, back. Oh, no, nearly got it. Oh, nearly got it. Wow. I've got your leg, mate. You all right, yeah? Got it. Keep reeling in, Joe, a little bit with me, yeah? We got it. We got an eel, mate. Good congo, good congo. Yes. Yes, Joe. Yes, Joe. Yes, mate. Right. Hold on, boys. Oh, I've just had a big bite on my rod. I've just had a big bite. Yes. Yes, Joe. Yes, Joe. That's a cracking fish as long as you, mate. Oh, yes, mate. Well, it's midnight now. It's high water. We're um, we're wrapping up. It's been a good session. A few dogs whiting. I lost a good fish. Joe had a conga. Um, the only reason we're packing up really is um, the the flow is just too much. We're having to, when we're casting the rods in, we're literally dropping the rods in the margin, and we're holding. And we've got well, we're having to hold the rods or put our feet on the rods because the current's that much. It's just bending the rods around and like the, well, we just can't keep the rods in the water. That's the only reason. So we got a 1.6 mile walk back now and about an hour and 10 minutes drive. So we ain't gonna be home till two half two. Shattered I am. I'm supposed to have a nap when I got here, didn't have it. Anyway, it's real fishing people. See you in the next video, yeah?